how do you think Kanban 1, Kanban 2 certification help in anyone who wish to do the role of Scrum Master, Agile Coach, etc, etc. So in general, my belief is the understanding of Kanban is needed, significantly needed, if you are working in a safe environment or in a multi-team complex environment where pure Scrum is not the only solution. You need to work with mix up of on-demand scheduling or Kanban way of working or something else. By understanding Kanban, it is just not about the board, but it is also about understanding how to design a Kanban system, how to design various policies, how to create different kind of service level agreements, how to create different, different class of services, how to drive work in progress limits, how to visualize bottlenecks and remove those bottlenecks and how to look at matrices like lead time, community flow diagram and various kind of flow efficiency kind of things. It helps you in visualizing the whole thing and so that you can create your own uh, uh, or, or you can facilitate the creation of a Kanban system. The Scaled Agile framework is using Kanban extensively. They do teach inside safe, but I believe, personally, I believe the, the learning inside safe is a it's a one way of using Kanban. They have a one interpretation or one implementation of Kanban, but there could be multiple way of doing Kanban implementation, which are not taught in the Scale Agile framework. So knowing Kanban is a good idea. One can study, one can watch videos, or if you see that there is a, some value and you want to get some assistance rather than delaying your learning, then doing Kanban certification is a good idea. We do see more and more people attracting towards Kanban certification program because they want to understand what is there beyond a board. They want to understand various metrics. They want to understand how things can work in the on-demand way of working because time-boxed way of working is not necessarily suitable in all the context. I'm not saying scrum way of working. I'm saying time-boxed way of working because in many cases, you need to have a non-time-boxed way of working and sometimes mixture of two. So in a Kanban, you can design a system with a time box, without a time box, mixture of both. You can create your own Kanban system. So I see that there is a good, uh, I would say, value in understanding Kanban if you want to work at an org level because each and every person will not be able to use Scrum way of working. 